I wanted to show the backpackers this. We're, uh, well, let's see, almost two hours into the hike. Uh, you know, if you wanted to break it up, this would be a great place to camp. Look at this spot. You see what I mean? I'm, uh, things are getting a little spotty at this point. Uh, I've been hiking at a good clip. The only problem with that is, you know, it's hard to see a snake before they sneak you when you're going so fast. But, uh, I may have to turn back. I didn't, like I said, he may have come down that road and, and I parked up that road. And the only way I'll know is if I run into a cobweb because that means he didn't knock them down. And then I'll know for sure that that uh, parking area is not in front of me too close. I can't make it much further because I got another two hours back. So I just can't, I'm not in good enough shape to be out here for eight hours with a backpack just like I, when I was young. All right. Always try to get to weird stuff. <clears throat> so we just came down that. I was going to wait a few more minutes to make the next piece of video. But you got these posts here. I wonder why. Maybe this used to be a trail right here. And uh, so the trail is just continuing on this way. And there's you know, the other two posts. Maybe. So I, wonder, I don't know. That'd be a cool trail to hike though. I wonder why they didn't maintain it. I mean, you could, I guess you can only get so many volunteers. But I did want to talk about one quick thing. I passed a guy, first time ever, yeah, first time ever uh, on the Florida Trail, uh, you know, for the most part, I mean, on this section of the Florida Trail. And uh, he said there's supposed to be a parking lot up here somewhere. And boy, if we can get to that today, that'll knock out this portion of the trail. And then the next time we're out going north, we could park there and do another section. I just don't know how many more we're going to get in before it grows in for the summer or it just gets too hot. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm suffering right now, we'll tell you that. Uh, and I'm looking forward to stopping and getting some water, but I, I want to get to this parking lot before I stop and get some water because that'll be the end of the, of the hike for me today. Um, if it's, uh, He made it sound like it wasn't that far up here, but I crossed a road a while back and he could have parked up that road somewhere and come down that road. I didn't see a vehicle and there were no signs saying parking lot this way. When I say road, it was a dirt road, not very well maintained. So let's keep going. To, if we can get to this parking lot, that'll be the next place that we park the, uh, the motorcycle. Although we're getting so far out, I'm, I'm, but you know what? If I start getting out at, you know, earlier in the morning, you know, we're, we're moving down to where, you know, got to get on the road about nine o'clock to get out. Cause we're getting two, two and a half, three hours ride to, to get to where I can get on the trail and hike uh, but you know you can see this is real easy i mean this is nice i just came up i was one thing i want to talk about the trail big hill big hill which is great uh easy hike up the hill i uh, kind of winding around really pretty i uh, got that heart rate up you know that's what the doc says that's why i do this man and so coming up that hill man i could feel the heart beating good good and hard so uh you know th this is nothing i'm just gonna have to hike faster uh you know now that's one problem with this section of the trail is uh you're not going to make, you know, unless you're really, you know, in great, great shape. Uh, it's hard to make good time. You know, you're not going to be hiking, you know, three, four miles an hour. You know, I was probably making only one, 1 1.5 miles an hour in some sections. Uh, now I'm, I can get up to three right here. So I'm going to pick up the pace and try to get to this parking lot. Okay, this might have to be two videos. Man, we are way, way, way. <laughs> I've been doing... I uh, got good three miles three miles an hour so I guess we're five six maybe six six miles into the Ocala forest without seeing a road nothing and here's a weird thing look at that how in the hell did a tire get back here <laughs> you know I always try to get the weird stuff on the video but uh most of the, the last mile there mile and a half or so is just look about like this you know we're making good time that's for doggone sure but uh i'm gonna have to turn back here in 15 20 minutes and uh long 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 hike back i won't be making any video there uh, i always say that and something pops into my head but uh you know and then i gotta get get home on that motorcycle don't want to ride in the dark there was just a guy uh who's riding at 11 o'clock at night and got killed uh, just just a couple weeks ago. Um, now it's you know 3:14. It's pretty pretty safe, but uh, 
you know, people get sleepy on uh, those country roads. So I, that's why I keep an eye on my rear view mirror. I'm looking at the rear view mirror as much as I'm looking in the front of the motorcycle because if a car actually comes up behind me and they want to go faster than me, I, I just pull over, let them go on by and then go on out, you know, especially on the ride home when I'm wobbly. You know, coming out, I, like I said, I, I was, I was busting buns, 65 miles an hour going on a 35 mile an hour turn. Wasn't worried about it. But anyway, we'll just turn this into two videos. But I'm going to turn back here in about 15 minutes. That's all I got left. And uh, I, I don't I don't know where that guy came from. Maybe he's been hiking a long time. And he made it sound like it wasn't that much further to get to this parking lot. So uh, I'm kind of bummed. I'll have to get home and look at a map. And then we'll have to work our way back this way. It's just hard to believe how big the Ocala National Forest is, you know. You, I mean, look how much we've done. We've done... I don't even know how many days we've hiked in the Ocala. There's just this portion of the Ocala National Forest. And, uh, you know, I can't, who knows when we'll get through the Ocala National Forest. And then when you get to the Panhandle, let me move this out of the way. Ugh. Man, that's why having a walking stick's good. Didn't even have to bend over. And uh, so, anyway, peace out, guys. We'll, we might get one more video at the end of the hike. I'm going to go as long as I can, but I got... I had a long hike back. I'm going to take a break up here, get a snack, drink lots and lots of water, and probably finish off that water bottle, and then just uh, enjoy it on the way back. Looks like we're making a turn up here. I'm hoping that's a good sign. Let us be two videos. All right, we got off of that kind of uh, leafy road, and we're going up a big hill now. Uh, luckily, I like going uphill on the way out, because uh, that means I go downhill on the way back. But uh, you can see it narrowed down. A good look. Uh, I don't know how much longer we'll make it today. But uh, probably just going to look for a place to sit down and have a snack. Drink some water. And we're going to have to turn back here within a, 10 minutes. I'll give it 10 more minutes. Now that I know we're making two videos, doesn't that look cool? So we just came down that with the permafrost and uh, I just got that look off into the forest, you know, and then it's kind of diving back in here. I'm liking it. I'm liking the hike. I just wish I didn't have so far to get back. All right, that's as good a place as any to turn back because I'm going to attack this from the other side. These three trees will be our marker to hike up to from that end of the trail. I don't know where this parking area is that guy was talking about. But I can't believe he hiked this far. So nobody hikes this far but me. Unless you're backpacking and then you hike this far for sure. But uh, kind of a neat look, huh? With the pine trees. Yeah, let's go just a little further. But uh, I guess I don't really want to sit on these pine trees, get that pine sap on me. I was thinking about just sitting on them trees. Hmm, trying to get through here. Yeah, hold on. Oh, man. That's where that walking stick comes in. We can break this off. There we go. Oh man. Whew. So looks like nobody's been through here for a while. So uh yeah. Good hike today. Got a long damn ways to get back. Let's be a good spot just to get some water and snack and uh, we'll head back and uh that's it for today. Man, beautiful though. Here, let's just get a nice quiet video one one last time since it's gonna be two videos. So you can get the feel of what it's like to be six, I don't know, seven miles, how far ever I'm, I'm in the Ocala Forest. That's it for today. Peace out. All right, longest hike ever of the year, I think. So, I was looking, I'm not a tracker, but I think I'm seeing footprints going this way. Like I said, we came over this road. I do want to get this on the video. Sorry about hitting my walking stick. Isn't that cool? 
So that's uh, just kind of the forest off in the distance. Now I'm seeing what looks like a fence down here. Boy, I hate adding anything to the hike, but this would be wonderful if we found this parking lot. Because we could come here and spend another day. Of course, I would be hiking a portion of the trail that we've already done. But uh, since that is a gate right there, I'm thinking that might be the parking lot he's talking about. And I swear, you know, I'm not a tracker, but I, I am seeing shoe prints here. And so this must be what he came down. So let's see what's up here. Look at those clouds, huh? Whew, boy, we still got a long ways back. One thing, note to self, <laughs> bring more water. I'm just about out of water. It's, uh, it's a little bit hotter than, you know, I've been hiking. And I got a big bottle of water in the motorcycle. It ain't doing me no damn good out here. So, and I got a lot, still got a long hike back. So I'm going to, if this is the park or not, I'll finish off the water right here. And, you know, what are you going to do? Then I'll just have to wait till I get back to the motorcycle. But, uh... Just want to show you what it looks like here. You know, look at this clouds. You know, I'm a cloud person. There's the sun kind of peeking through. So we're coming down this road. Let's see if this got to be the parking lot. This got to be it because I didn't see him coming back down that trail. No way he's been hiking this long. So my guess, he's calling this a parking lot. You can see these fresh tire tracks. This is a dirt road. I don't think I could get the... Uh, yeah, well, I mean, looking at this, you could ride the motorcycle down it. I'll have to ride down the 314, see if this uh, connects into there, and then maybe try to come down a ways, because you could park right here at this gate. But, you know, you'd think that they'd have something here that says, you know, Florida Trail this way, some sort of sign, because this would be a good place to hook up with it. Um, so I don't know. I, you know, sometimes it doesn't. Doesn't make sense why they don't mark things. I experienced this in the National Forest quite a bit too. But uh, at least I got to hike by this, you know, this was beautiful. So I'm I'm not arguing. I, I didn't want to come down that road to get to right here. But uh, what the hell, I, if I've hiked this far, I might as well just totally destroy myself because I, I hope I can get back to the daggone motorcycle. The hard part's gonna be riding that thing home when you get this wobbly. It's, it's tough riding a motorcycle. Just wanted to get this on the video. Okay, so we, we came up that. That's from 314 down there. Okay, we, we crossed this power line. I'm pretty 99% pretty certain that that was the power line that we crossed. And then we continued wrongly looking for that parking lot up the Florida Trail this way. Uh, and by the way, this road, like I went down to the right, coming up the, or going north on the Florida Trail, then that's where the, the road is to park on. We're going to try to find that. And then if you go this way, you can see you run into a gate right here. Who knows what's down that road? And uh, so what we're going to attempt to do, and then to, because I'm so doggone tired, I'm just going to try to hike down these uh, these power lines because we've already come up. The Florida Trail, so I don't need that difficulty. What I'm looking for is an easy hike going back. I'm out of water, so that was a bad move. I'm tireder than I've been in a long time. I think a combination of the heat, being fat and out of shape because uh, I haven't been hiking enough. Uh, you know, because now that social activities are kicking in, my wife's got me going out to eat, and, you know, and, and then she gets upset when I say I want to go hiking. I don't know how many times I say that to her. I want to go hiking. You know, that's my thing. But uh, So I'm hoping this is going to run us right into 314. And then all I'm going to do is hike down the road back to the motorcycle. And we'll see if that works. But, I mean, for somebody doing or just wanting a day hike like I do for the hike a trail, for a trail, you could park where I did on the, the Eaton Lake uh, Trailhead on that road at the Florida Trail there, hike up to right back there, uh, then uh, come down this road, and then uh, go down 314 and back to your vehicle. So that would be a real nice loop, you know, because you've seen the Florida Trail coming out. You're looking for an easy hike going back, but we'll see what happens. If I run into anything that's uh, interesting or difficult or made a wrong turn, I'll let you know. So this was bizarre. I don't know if the Florida Trail used to go this way or something, but I'm just hiking down that 
between the power lines and there's a little trail that's not well maintained. And then if you look at the telephone pole right there, there's a marker on it. So maybe this used to be the Florida Trail once upon a time. Maybe they cut it in this way and then, and then later on cut it in further down. But let's just keep going. You can see I got, I got a ways to go on this dirt road to get to back to 314. Well, you never know. Something big was right over there. But check this turtle out. Isn't that cool looking? Buried down in the sand. i never seen a snout nose like that on a turtle. Look at those weird feet. But uh, I don't want to bother him. I don't know what that was over there. I'm guessing a deer, I hope. Wow. All right, let's keep on going down the dirt road. This is a good sign. This is where I crossed this power line on the Florida Trail heading that way. I came down that and uh, I don't know what I recommend it as a hike. It's kind of sandy, you know, and uh, it's not that easy a hike, but uh, I think it's, but it's straight on, you know, where the Florida Trail you're winding around and uh, stepping over stuff and, you know, here you just get into some deep sand occasionally. So I'm going to continue on down here and uh, and then what I figure I'll do, I'm pretty sure that's 314, I'll say directions to the Eaton Lake Trailhead and see where the phone points me. And if it just takes me right down that road, which it should, then we're good to go. And we know we can just hike down that road and get back to the motorcycle. Man, I am feeling it. Oh, God. Well, you know you're tired when you're as confused as I am. I was seeing orange markers. I said, wait a minute, I didn't hike this today. But yeah, what happens is this goes and then it dives up into the forest that way. And so I did come across that. And those are the telephone lines that I came down. And uh, if you look right here, here's where we came out. And I'm about 99% certain this is 314. Let's get a compass back to the motorcycle. And I'm just going to hike down the road and uh, try to make as good a time as I can. But I got a long ways to go. This is where you have a hope sandwich. You know, all that time I was hiking, yeah, I don't even check that there's no signal out here. So I don't know if I'm going the right direction. And if this is 314, there's been no indication of it. I can't believe it wouldn't be. Uh, no markers on the road. Nothing. So this is the country, boys. Country in the National Forest. All right, let's get off the road. So I wanted to get one last video after the longest hike of the year. Way too long. I, that guy, you know, I, people leave out details, you know. He said, oh, yeah, there's a parking lot up there not too far along. So I kept going, 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 hoping I'd see it because that'd be the next leg of the journey. And turned out he left out that one detail. Turn right, and it wasn't a parking lot. He just pulled off the road there because he knew the area. You know, it's just people, you know, they, I don't know. You, you ask people things and you get apples and they think oranges. I don't get it. Anyway, I just wanted to show you what I've come back to. See that little flask right there? I'm going to drink that whole darn thing. I, I'm so thirsty, I can't stand it. And look at that, an apple and a cutie. I'm going to eat those two and then get on the road. What a day. Okay, that's the end of this video.